right, Sammy Skeets, where are we at with this? <clears throat> I'm gonna do spot welding, reinforcing, fixing all the separatage. You should weld this. Let that change. Hell oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you welded the tip to itself. Best welding clip ever. <laughs> I mean, dude, you're doing pretty good for your first time. <laughs> Haven't done a good job of recording things these days, but I know people like to see the prep type of stuff. So, a little update we put the port of power here. Sam's uh, strut tower was moved in quite a bit, and we had added these little braces that stiffen things up after you tweak all this and make it all soft. So we sliced this, put the port of power here into that corner, and pushed it back out. So now it's pretty straight. But yeah, once Sam finishes all the spot welds, finish prepping it for paint, and then one of these days, we will shoot it and he can drop his new motor in. This is a super critical piece to spot weld because when you drift these super old cars, this shit comes apart and then your whole tension rod bracket will move back and forth while you're driving and that is never good. And what, what happened here, dude? Uh, <laughs> this? Yeah. The bolt that holds this in comes loose after a while. Probably a couple crashes, but... You yeah. had to cut this open to re-put a nut and bolt on it. At the track. At the track. <laughs> That's another, yeah, pretty another jank. common old S chassis problem. You got spacer, dude. Didn't record any of the paint, but I re-sprayed the Z. It was long overdue for a touch-up. The welds went through the other side because I'm welding both sides. And you can see. Oh yeah, it's just burnt through the paint. Right. That's okay. Once you sand and paint over it, it won't really be noticeable. But you could go to a lower heat setting and then it won't burn through as much. Mm -hmm. So it's been a while since I've touched this thing. I'm trying to get back on it finally. Got a couple other things to prep on the chassis to get it ready, but while it's out, something that I heard about recently, there's this hole, and when you do the K24 with the K20 oil pump, that hole can apparently spew oil out and make you lose some oil pressure at high RPMs. So drill and tap for an eighth inch NPT plug here and fill that up and hopefully have good oil pressure. It's been, it's been way too long. I've had this for a while and we moved. Been slacking on getting caught up. Yeah, it's just time. Got the nice TF oil pan, new version. It's all billet flange and all that good stuff. The TF intake manifold. Everything's getting all rusty from just sitting around for so long. <laughs> Twin plate clutch. Look at that. This would obviously be better to do with the motor taken apart, but I'm not gonna do all that. It's gonna be really difficult to... Oops. What? I was holding it by the zoom button. Does it look straight? You're a machinist. Looks like a good hole to me. <laughs> you know a good hole when you see it? Seems straight. It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I'm working on my engine for once. What is this? This is a weird looking Nissan motor. Hi guys, I'm Julian Jacobs, and today we're working on the K-Swap, tapping some holes. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
So it's another day, I'm back on it. Got this, uh, this hole tapped and plugged. Got the tensioner back on, got this all cleaned up. Got the timing cover, I'm just gonna clean that up. Machine shop guy, highly recommended the factory Toyota sealant. I've heard Honda Bond's really good too. But yeah, I just want it to work. So Honda motor, Toyota sealant, phone in a Nissan. Yeah, whatever works. Should have done this before the front cover, but whatever. Oh, did I really just fucking do that? <sighs> yep. This is what happens when I try to tackle engine stuff without Jason. I need baby Jason to save me. I'm tired, so I'll get back to this tomorrow. Welcome back to Julian Sucks at Cars. Got this all cleaned up again. That all cleaned up again. This is the guide that I forgot. That's got to be on there for this chain. Anyway, I'll make this quick. It's on. This is on. I went to put in this bolt and it just ripped the threads out, so that was sick. But luckily, didn't rip them all out. Put a longer bolt in, torqued it, so we're good. I took the intake manifold back off because there's some stuff I need to do here with these coolant lines, so get on that next. What's going on here, dude? I'm trying to get my oil pan to sit on the engine. Yeah, that'd be nice. Just trying to figure out why the oil pan wasn't sitting flat and pan machine to be extra flat. And I don't think that was the problem the whole time. I think it was rubbing on this baffle. And I'm just now figuring out where it was rubbing. <laughs> Hopefully this shit fits. <laughs> so when you do the Toge factory pan, you have to trim this baffle off but I think maybe it was rubbing right here. Let's find out. Yeah. All right, moment of truth. It's hitting on something else, dude. Still? It just doesn't, it doesn't go forward any more than this. Doesn't, bruh. We got some super exciting stuff to film today. Trailer lights. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, that's probably why it's not turning on. <laughs> Hello. Got that new new. Because I just showed you that video. <laughs> boring content that I'm probably not going to put in the video. <laughs> no one wants to see this shit. <laughs> you want to see some fucking <laughs> stupid trailer lights get put on? Uh, you want to see Julian struggle with the simplest wiring you could possibly do <laughs> and hammer yeah, dude. some bent fucking trailer shit straight? This is the behind the scenes shit. That's what it's all about right here. You want to see me get told my credit card's over its limit? How did that happen again? You, I just paid. Y'all just witnessed that. <laughs> this is why we're posting stupid shit on YouTube. <laughs> like and subscribe. Every corner is bent. I suck at driving, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. Life happened. Yeah, this light's all fucked. This trailer's seen some shit, dude. I see that. Those wheels were mine at one point. <laughs> I think so. I'm pretty sure I sold them to Carlito. <laughs> Hold on it. If you're 
getting power, then you know there's power at the truck, and then you move your way backwards. Yeah, but I think there's... Everything is working still, though, which is why, like, I don't know, if we had one, we could just test it. So now, what are the other ones you can do? Put it in back? When you do left, it works? Yeah. And then when you do right, it doesn't? Right. I'd, I'd start your plug. Did we figure it out, dude? <laughs> yeah, it only took all day. Long story short, it was a fucking fuse. I looked through the fuse panel multiple times and didn't see the correct one that actually needed to be checked. This is what happens when I try to do electrical stuff without Palmer. <laughs> Save me, Palmy. <laughs> Should fit money now, huh? Should. <laughs> Probably won't. It'd be sick if it did. I'm not having a great time with cars today. <laughs> ah! 